Good day everybody, welcome back to the studio. Oh boy, this piece here, what you can see is you probably can't see it really well and I do apologize, but if you watch a previous video you will see how I created this by um, uh, doing a bottle, a cut bottle flip, uh, dirty pour, whatever you want to call it, and drizzling some paints in there and I decided I don't know why I did that but not thinking sometimes they're the best things that you can do um, I just squirted a little bit of um, spray adhesive onto the mix just on on top of the the dirty pour in the bottle before I released it from the bottom and it's um, I believe that that thing the the spray adhesive created all these amazing cells and all kinds of things in there um so <laughs> but the thing was um the you could see the the spray adhesive dry up on on top of the resin creating this skin which i i guess if i left it there and let it set it would have been okay because it was transparent quite clear just sitting on top there but I wanted to do some more of those kinds of dirty pores and uh, and decided to do all kinds of things so you will see me do a few different techniques with this piece and uh, and then create something completely different in the end which um, you know I'm demonstrating here and I'm speeding this up real fast because you know just to save you a little bit of time and uh, you know stop you from you know because there's a lot of dragging on areas where, where I'm just you know doing things that I couldn't cut out or I didn't cut out whatever so I'm speeding it up um, heaps here Okay, so moving along, I've just uh, done four corners with that uh, dirty pour in a bottle, upside down bottle. Um, the colours used here are um, uh, purple rain and what I'm applying right now is really diluted purple rain so it's quite transparent, I wanted it like that. So purple rain, I've got molten gold in there, I've got some, um, and you can see right here all that beautiful effect that I've got. This is without that spray, this is just the pigment, which is pretty cool. Um, I will do another video where I'm experimenting, just doing a whole piece in that one pour, one dirty pour, and it should be quite awesome. Uh, more colours, angel white and appetite blue and the black I believe it's a bit of black in there as well okay so now I'm just putting a little blobs here and there just to cover the whole piece before I start manipulating and moving this around so at this stage it's all looking pretty messy um, and gross really so I'm just uh, I'm never worried about these things I'm just telling you that I never worry about it because I love working with resin especially when it starts to set up a little bit on me and uh, and then reheating it and getting that thick thick oozing kind of thick substance that I can move around manipulate the way I want it to using quite a bit of heat here with my heat gun and um, as you would have noticed at the beginning of the video that piece in the middle uh, was poured earlier so that would have been sitting there for at least half an hour 45 minutes so it's quite thick and uh, so I am now just uh, applying that heat just to loosen everything up and move everything so of course with the lighting and everything you can't really see all the effects in there but I can tell you it's, it's looking pretty awesome especially 
especially with that gold, the molten gold and the things it's created. So what I'm doing here now is I'm doing a tilt of the my board and heating as I do it and I get real thick uh, like um, resin pouring over and you can see it creating all those grooves in there uh, making it real groovy and now just showing you what it all looks like at that stage it's not finished yet um, I'm just all right now adding some texture with the bubble wrap and shortly I will have the original um, speed and the original sound so that you can hear and see how hard it is to pull that off Okay, back to my audio now, and uh, yeah, I'm sure you would have been cringing, thinking, oh my god, that is so sticky, and yes, it was, but it's created some really cool ripples uh, in my resin, and, when it, and it, when it set, you could still see those ripples. It was still bumpy, but smooth, which it was pretty cool, I think. Very messy and very sticky. Um, but it was well worth it for for creating what I wanted to create in the end. And just going around now with my fingers, just dabbing here and there, where I felt that um, it needed a little bit of merging of the of the paint or, or softening some harsher colors. So I'm just going around with my fingers as well as that crunched up um, bubble wrap. You can use any plastic really. I use the back of the bubble wrap so not the real bubbly side and it was still um, not soft and smooth so it still gave me that effect but not not the holes. I didn't want the holes in there which is what I would have got if I used the, the bubble side of the bubble wrap. So I used the flatter side on, on, on the other side. And just keep going like this now and um, fixing up a few areas there these are all just ideas you know that you can take or leave uh, but I you know I hope that you can take something out of it and uh, don't be afraid of resin don't rush and think you know it's, it's gonna set and then and, and I'll be stuck and it's gonna be crap and you know, I'll have to put another layer on it. So you can still do that. That's fine. But you don't have to wait. You can play with it while it's still sticky. Uh, make sure you have a lot of alcohol wipes or some isopropyl alcohol and some um, paper towels and, and clean your, 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 your surface, clean, clean your gloves and things like that so that you, um, you're prepared for it but it does get quite sticky I found uh, a little piece of uh, circular resin skin which I have created by you know pouring some leftover resin quite some time ago into uh, one of those Chinese um, container lids so I got a perfect circle and it's already got a little design on there. I will end up pouring some color in there and making it a little bit different. Plus it needed to, to pop pop up a little bit for me. So I've just popped it right over that resin, which is still sticky, so it glued it on beautifully. And just scattering some moonstone gemstones here. And squirting a little bit of that uh, spray adhesive into another um, circular uh, skin that I had from, from, from a cup. I think this was left in the cup. So it's about or maybe five millimeters thick. So 
what's that that's about a little, a little bit less than quarter of an inch um it's it's uh, and and then filling it up with with um some some gemstones as well as well as some coarse glitter just to create like a moon and then i had a little ring which was also a leftover resin from a cup which i pulled out and trimmed the side so i get that perfect ring and then popping in some glitter in there as well creating a little planet down there so um it's you know pretty easy stuff just creating um, a bit of a cosmic piece and now just with my fingers I'm scattering around some holographic glitter these are all from La Res. if you ever you know if you want to order some of this stuff I've got everything in in my store um, mixing up some appetite blue now and pouring it into that circle there and then I'm going to be scattering a little bit of um, stardust powder glitter a little bit of white just to make that color pop I should have put a little bit more white um, I was just a little bit worried because I had no resin left and I just dipped a stick directly into the paste and I was worried about the ratio I just uh, kind of smudged it over over the piece so um, it's not showing that much not as much as I wanted it to but um, when I added that uh, stardust it was it was okay it made it look um, pretty cool there's a stardust coming in now just a little bit on the, on the the end of the teaspoon and then just and a little bit of sun catcher as well just to give it that extra golden shimmer and whatever I had left kind of stuck on my finger I dabbed it around everywhere as well just to add some more shimmer who doesn't like shimmer really I, I was never a glittery person never liked too much glitter but I do now it's weird isn't it how you change so this is um, this part of it is pretty much coming to an end and shortly I will show you how uh, bumpy that area is how wrinkly um, the effect of, of using that uh, the bubble wrap the back of the bubble wrap or any plastic really when it's so thick so you can see it there it's uh, quite wrinkly I really like that effect it's something different so here it is it's almost finished but I will stop videoing here I just need to add some highlights on my planet which is looking really cool you can see that beautiful um, appetite blue it's not showing in the video surprise surprise and those uh, the uh, moonstone gemstones here they look way too bright here and some some glitter on top rough kind of uh, chunky glitter just white so and a lot of um, scattered around crushed glass and I just love this area here because that uh, appetite blue and it's it's coming through really pale blue but it's it's that green kind of like a peacock even a little bit peacockish it's beautiful okay so this piece I'm going to add it to something else I'm planning on doing like a like a sculptured uh, collage so we'll we'll see it's just an idea I've got a few of them waiting same size um, this is MDF real thin stuff so um, yeah stay stay um, tuned for that when, whenever it it comes up but uh, anyways I'm, I'm real pleased with this thanks for watching